Hello. Uh, boo. As is customary at this time of year. And a boo to you too. It's Halloween-ish. Sort of. Kind of. That explains what you're about to see in this episode of Monster Train. With all the pumpkins and such. The universal symbol for Halloween. Let's go, I suppose. What happened last time? Oh, a, a sentient run that was kind of all over the place that maybe needed some... <laughs> maybe needed a little bit of uh, focus. But would have been alright had I not misplayed, I guess. Now it's time for Tethys. Stygian guard. Uh, oh, purple green. I like purple green. It's uh, it's okay. Talos the Architect, Arcus, Sin of Shadow, and Seraph the Diligent, because of course, Seraph the Diligent, because you've got Stygian. Two Titans Gratitudes, eh. Two Steel Enhancers, eh. And a Preserve is, is okay, I guess. This is alright, actually. Yeah, this is fine. I always get this mixed up with the one that's got Offering printed on it. Ah, oh, Split Anvil is really good. It just doesn't do anything for us at all right now, but it is very good. Awoken Banner. So you want like an incant deck, really. This is the thing. Split Anvil makes incant decks very good and very easy, because you just hold over the most expensive card in your deck. Make sure that you can play it, and then the rest of your hand becomes free. Um, but we don't have that. I don't know why I'm looking in the logbook. Like, Awoken and Stygian both have very expensive spells. Like, Cycle of Life, Awake. It's even, I mean, eh, maybe not Spreading Spores, but you know. If you get either of these, admittedly they're both rare. Uh, sorry, one's rare, one's uncommon. If you see an Awake and you just hold it over and you've got Split Anvil, you just basically can't lose. So much incant happens. But enemies entering with Frostbite 2 just makes the first few combats very free. Very free. They're both good. They're both good, is what I'm trying to say. And I think, unfortunately, I'm just going to take Rules of Containment, because Split Anvil does nothing for us now. We don't get any stronger from taking Split Anvil now. And getting a good start is quite important. Plus, this is an Awoken banner on this side. On the Merchant of Steel side, which means I'm more likely to want to go this way than the Stygian side and get incants. But there is a Stygian banner here. So that doesn't mean we have to do two entire combats with Rules of Containment doing... not Rules of Containment, Split Anvil doing nothing. It's, it seems bad to pass it up, but you also then have to go to a magic shop as well. Like You have to get a good card here, go to the magic shop here. Like, if you hit that, if you hit an uncommon here or a three-cost Stygian card here and you get hold over here, you're in really good shape. But then even this might just be like Xylophyte Titan Sentry or something. Anyway. That's my theory. That's my thoughts about those. Ah, here's an interesting idea. Shield Wind or Handheld Totem. I think Handheld Totem is not necessary right now because, as I say, now that we've got the rules of containment, we don't need a sweep. Backline is going to be sorted for a little while. So I'm going to take the Shield Wind. Helps with bosses. We do need some way to make sure Tethys doesn't die. So, like, Gathered Clergy here, this is... I mean, 10 armor just sort of invalidates taking Rules of Containment, unfortunately. But it's only a unit draft, so it's, it's less exciting. Uh, I've had problems where Tethys just sort of dies outright. Because <laughs> she just can't get anything done. Steel Enhancers help. I maybe should have played top here. But I want more. I want more frostbite turns to happen, and we got lucky with the uh, collector, so it's fine. I'm gonna permafrost this so that we definitely have it. 
Should we need it against the boss, even though I didn't take spell weakness? But it's fine. Makes no difference where that goes. Two damage. I wonder what's bear here. This is bear, right? Because this gives you three rounds. Whereas this doesn't change the number of rounds Tethys can take against the boss. Because obviously the boss does five, so this is this is technically better. I'm not gonna risk doing that. I'm not gonna risk discarding one Titan's Gratitude with the other. Yeah. Easily dead. Very easily dead. Shame we couldn't take the trial though. But with a nat, not a bad start. Flash Freeze is pretty good. Wow, I'm glad I didn't take Split Anvil here, because every single card we just saw was zero and one cost. A Sting is a tiny little bit of extra draw. A Vine Grasp is also nice. I'll take the Vine Grasp, I think. I think. Cool. Uh, I mean, the Stygian banner's pretty spicy, isn't it? An armor shark is very good here. Siren of the Sea is very good. Unnamed Siren is very good. What do I want from the Awoken banner? Like, hollows aren't that great. Shattered Shell is okay. Given that I'm really, really tempted to go Merchant of Magic here. The Magic Shop doesn't do a huge amount. Because there's nothing really to minus one. Huskerm, it's okay. Nothing else is really that exciting. The Hollow's okay, I suppose, as tanks, for now. But, like, neither... I don't want either of these particularly. These are alright. Shattered Shell and Huskerm are okay here. If I can give this a plus 25, then that's pretty, that's pretty okay. I mean, even a Vine Mother's alright. I'm going to go this way. That's very good. Sixteen frostbite? Is that worth the money? I don't think it is. I don't think anything in here is worth the money, really. Possibly this. Possibly this. Let's just call that good. Alright, we're off to a good start here. Arkham Invasion is just free with the uh, setup we have. Yeah, I'll play top here. Cool. Alright, it's an in-count deck. As so often happens in this clan combo, it's an in-can deck. Uh, where's best here? It's an interesting question. Just need something with sweep. And it's probably that we just put that on Tethys. We probably just pivot Tethys into also doing sweep. But again, I wouldn't say no to a Shattered Shell or something like that. Put a Train Steward down here. You're actually getting through. It's fine. Five for the trial is okay.
in-count three armor. That's so good. It's so good. What a unit. And I mean that both literally and figuratively. It is a unit in the sense that it is a unit in the game of Monster Train, but it's also a unit. It's a lad. I always wonder whether to just play the turnout, as I would, without that big red X being there. It feels wrong to just press end turn. Crystallis is nice. We do need a bit more oomph here, currently. Ooh, a razor sharp edge. I'm liking this razor sharp edge, because I'm like, because this Stygian banner is extremely good. Siren of the Sea, or an unnamed siren here, is basically just GG. Large stone. Not really what I wanted to see. There's a plus 25, which is nice. Oh boy. Yeah, that's good. I guess you get plus 25. And then I reroll for armor and multi strike. Well, that's good. I'm going to give you the other plus 25, actually, seeing as it's here, so I can play Razor Sharp Edge on you a bit more often without having to worry too much about it. And we'll see what this is. If it's times 5, I don't really think I'm going to do anything. Oh, it's Dante! Sorry. Sorry, Dante. Can't, I can't help you. Not today. Not today, Dante. Have I got anything else I can do here? Eh. Alright, we're set for units now. We need to go to a unit upgrade shop just to maybe... Well, we don't need to. It would be nice to get in Count Armor 2 on... Um, Siren? No? Cards? What are any cards called? Why can I never remember what cards are called in this game, by the way? This is also very good in this exact uh, version of Talos, which I didn't recognise because I'm not very good at the game. Um, I'm not going to encant you here. I'm going to push eight for a spite onto uh, Talos. I can remember a lot of what the card, what of what the cards are called. Just very often, I can't. You, do you gain armor from slaves? Yeah, I don't know if I want to put this train steward down for that reason. Uh, you can die down here, I guess. The restores aren't very good anymore. They do have Incant printed on them. Restore 2 health Incant 1 is a pretty good card, in my opinion. Uh, you die before Talos hits you, which I like. Forty-three. Yeah, you're definitely dead. I will just continue to Incant up here. What do I take? I kind of think I need energy, right? I haven't really got any energy uh, stuff going on. Wow, what a hand. Every Tethys path here is good. These Steel Enhancers are going to be very important in the sweep combats. I should maybe try and do something about that. I might hold one over, in fact. I don't need it right now. These restores just aren't really doing anything, are they? Wow. I suppose I technically could have played Vinegrass for my own uh, guardian, guard of the unnamed there, I suppose. I 
I will keep the restores in in all likelihood because I'm going to need cards to throw away to Diligent. But I suppose I could just say the Frozen Lances are that. What are you doing? You fool. We're very, very well set up here. We just need to uh, make sure we follow through on this and don't like accidentally die to uh, a combat that hard counters us. So, like, am I worried about Crystal Cloak? Not really. Hopefully, Guard will have a lot of armor. Am I worried about Self-Made Harpy? Again, not really. Um, sweep is a problem. But Sweep is less of a problem because we have the Siren to back it up. We have got Siren to do the damage that Tethys would be doing otherwise. I do like an Ancient Synergy here. Am I about to take energy? Is that actually going to happen? I think I am. I think I'm going to take energy. Sorry folks, you're all a bit too late. If I take, if I don't take space, then there are some combats where I have to play mid. But I don't think that's hugely detrimental. Being able to play 4 spells a turn is 12 armor a turn, possibly more. Uh, I want card removes, I think. I want to get rid of the train stewards. and uh, I might even duplicate that. 120 power. Titan's Gratitude. It's pretty strong. Let's see what this gives us first. Do I need to pivot into sweep now? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Just do loads of frostbite. That lowers the number of incounts we need to kill bosses. Maybe it's two razor sharp edges. Nah, this card's pretty bonkers. Clipped guard. Multi strike? If I play on the bottom, these are just two times two. Whether they die straight away is another question. It depends on what my first turn is. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Good. The bottom floor was not small. Really, really good start. Very, very good start. <laughs> I don't get the collector, but I just completely obliterate this floor. Oof, that's not great. Okay, you go up. That's quite that's quite annoying. That's the big problem with taking multi strike on this, is that if one leaks past you Okay, we this far we drew the Titan's gratitude. I've got two of these, haven't I? Oh, that's really awkward. Um Alright, if I play this, you go down to 35, and the Siren goes up to 27. And then I play the Steel Enhancer, so the Siren then kills you, and then kills you, and then Tethys kills you. So I can... Well, I didn't even need to do that. Alright, so I can play this up here. Okay, that's unfortunate that that happened exactly like that, but... Yeah, nice. The respite, it's so brief. So yeah, what I was saying before is I can do this on this, and this is net nothing. It's net zero on the uh, guard, but it's four rage on the uh, siren. Um, I'll let this go through, I suppose. There's a chance that I might need it. The deck is good. G. 
channel heart. Well, thanks, I suppose. This beats... Live is it called living armor? That's all it does. Nah, I'm good, thanks. I'm fine, thank you. Do I want a magic shop now? Or do I want more card removes? How many trends are left? Two. What would I duplicate? I don't know. What would I buy from the magic shop? Two minus ones, I suppose. A holdover. I kind of want this magic shop, though, because this free artifact is... You know, there's a lot of high roll artifacts here. This is less exciting to me, but I kind of said I would go to another unit shop because I want to see armor 2, in-count armor 2, just to be extra sure that we're going to win. What boss is it? Shadow. can't remember which one that is. If it's in-count, then maybe I'm a bit scared, and I should have maybe thought about that. But thankfully, Rally and Hellborn Harvest don't do too much, so... You basically average one of the shards that annoy you in this combat, which is kind of weird. Because not only does Arcus have to come to your floor, but he also has to put down the shard that annoys you the most. And it's not often that that happens twice in a combat, unless you've got some weird deck that doesn't want to be incanted or rallied, or incanted or Hellborn Harvest. Which does happen, to be fair. But we can go without playing some cards for one turn, and probably one turn at the most. Anyway... Events? Bone Dog's his own event now, and it's more likely to be seen during Halloween, so maybe I should do that. I just don't value the duplicate or the card removes that highly. I'm probably going to go this way. No, I really want this, which means I shouldn't go to this, shouldn't go to this magic shop, because I'm going to go here. I don't really need this, and this is irrelevant. Okay, alright, you convinced me. You convinced me, me. Okay, this is good. Every card in the deck is now a spell that's not our... Not our three units. Let's do this, I suppose. We could duplicate a bone dog if we get it. It's the monster rail spike. That's funny. I will just get rid of the frozen one. Uh... Yeah, the, the restores are absolutely garbage. At least the frozen lances deal six damage, so I don't mind those being consumed to diligent. And I think I'll probably duplicate the uh, razor sharp edge here. Yeah, that sounds right. That sounds fine. The deck's only 28 cards as well. It's Crystal Cloak. Hello, Heaven's Seal. My game has crashed? It's fine. Uh, Sycophants is so free with the rules of containment. I mean... The worry is that this clip card goes up with a whole bunch of damage. If this Clip Guardian goes up, having been buffed four times by all of these dead sycophants, and it goes up with 105, it'll be a... What's the most in a wave? Four. So it'll be a 1405, which will do 14 times 4, 56 to the pyre. Okay, I'm not taking that. Oh, it won't do that much, because it will have some frostbite on it. It's too risky. It, it's it's quite likely that it never happens, but if one goes up, then top floor is small. It's quite upsetting. Irrelevant. Um, I don't think I need to take space. I don't really have to guarantee playing top, like ever. Yeah, you're just dead, aren't you? Get rid of 
this? Yeah, get rid of it. Alright, maybe I could have taken this trial. Maybe I could have taken this trial quite handily, in fact. You're going to be on 60. So as long as I encant up here, that Nameless Siren kills them both. But you're also going to have 6 attack each. Yeah, this is fine. I'll just do that, in fact, and just have no attack. I was going to save it, but it's not really relevant, is it? Because now it's Respite and then we win. Wow, we're really strong. I could have so easily taken this trial. Like, so easily. there's a chance Crystal Cloak sneaks past. Yeah. There we go. Just needed a touch more armor. Which is why getting this armor upgrade on the shark from the shop is going to be very important. We could have taken that trial quite easily. Um, Ice Storm? Eh. I'm about to go to a magic shop. Oh no, I'm going to a steel shop, aren't I? Alright, I won't take the ice storm then. I'll take an engraft. Not for the health, but for the uh, energy and incant that it provides. And I was going this way, because I really wanted this free artifact. I should have taken the ice storm. Plus 10 holdover on that ice storm is pretty bonkers. Ah. Neither of these are very good. 25% chance to just deal with the backline that would die to rules of containment anyway. Or healing, which never, ever, ever happens. This can't be 25 gold, though. I refuse to believe that choice is 25 gold. No, the plus 10 was in here. It's okay. I don't think we really needed the... the. Uh... Nothing else discards, does it? It's only the... Uh... Yeah. I'm gonna make sure that we've got... we're quite strong from these choices. I feel like it's correct to make sure that all of the money goes on being strong. Two plus tens. Sad. I haven't purged any cards. And I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I want to make sure that we're set up for Diligent. The deck's still only 28. It's fine. We don't really need card removes now. Oh, it's Hellborn Harvest and Rally. Okay, well, that's just very easy then. Providing that the top floor is not small and the Rally Shard does not go on the middle floor. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That is a valid turn of events. Yeah, these absolvers are annoying, but... The hammer! The hammer provides. The hammer giveth, and the hammer taketh away. It's really not very good, is it, Infused Mallet? It's just not very good. I don't want to throw away two incants to get this dead. I think I'm just going to take the curse. Eh, although... This isn't the permafrost one. Yeah, alright, you convinced me. There's the flash freeze. Alright, 
this double heavy round will be interesting because I've not really set myself up for it, but I've got the Titan's Gratitude here in my hand, so... Yeah, that's a bit better, isn't it? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna play for Incants, I'm not gonna play this Crystallis. Just gonna play for Incants. Got another double heavy round here that I have to contend with. Siren has since not Siren. Unnamed Siren. Uh, why are they why are they all unnamed? Nameless Siren, guarding the unnamed. This this bonkers makes no sense. They're heavy, it's getting past. It does get past with twenty for us by it though, so. I don't necessarily have to worry about mopping it up, it can just do some damage to the pyre. But I'm going to. I'm going to mop it up, because it makes the most sense, because everything else is dead anyway. Eight Frostbite, 28, 39. Nah. I'll just continue it to incant down here, and uh... It's very much overkill, and then maybe it wasn't worth it for six damage, but... Maybe could have played it on the bottom. I think we're fine. If we're not fine, then that's sure going to be a hell of a way to lose this run. Definitely dead. Okay, that's interesting. We really need this incant armor on uh, the shot because we're gonna fall. We're gonna drop behind versus Seraph in this scenario. I don't want to take Gifts to regard here. Spike is interesting. I suppose there are some turns where I have excess energy. It's just not that good. I shouldn't think it's that good. It does have consume printed on it. I'll take it. And I'm going to take draw. I think it's an energy draw run. The floor we play on is irrelevant. Just straight up reroll, right? Hey, there it is. Cool. Right, that's that sorted. Ah, oh, hello. Ah, oh, it's such a shame I can't take this. It's such a crying shame. Um. Okay. I guess I'll just take the hammer then and be able to play on the top floor regardless. Yeah. Just get to play on whatever floor I want now. Which is nice. Let's get rid of these restores. The Frozen Lances are going to be the... Uh, diligent fodder. Conduit. Makes Ancient Synergy, Flash Freeze, 5 Frozen Lances... Two ti three times gratitudes, free. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think it's correct, though. Having taken energy draw, I don't think it's correct. If I'd have taken draw draw, then maybe. Living armor. Plus eight. Pyre wings with sweep. Can't take a plus eight on that, because Tethys just dies in one go. Must remember to play the steel enhancers on Tethys. And the odd restore every now and then needs to go on Tethys as well. And thankfully we can play top now, so we've got more than enough time to get this ready. Gonna need to draw a steel enhancer, or otherwise uh Oh thank Christ. That was close. 
Although I did draw both the Ancient Synergy and the Titan's Gratitude, so... I might just blow you up, actually. Seeing as this isn't the Frozen one. This is going to be an interesting test of how quite how strong we are. Kind of worried. <laughs> kind of. I'm always worried. I'm always, always, always worried, and I shouldn't be. Hmm. Can't believe this. I can't believe I have to use both. I think that's fine. Hammer time. You're definitely dead, so that's fine. This is the frozen one, so that's good. That's great. I could uh, sap you so that you don't actually attack me. Four sap, and one sap is minus two, right? I never. So then you'll come up with three sap. So you need to come up with two sap. So I can play this for three. And you don't attack me at all. I shouldn't really be belaboring this, it's really not that important. Because Tethys is now fine, it's just the Ember Drain as well. I don't want to play this, I want to play it against Living Armor, just in case. I can also Vine Grasp you for sure next turn, so that I don't have to worry about this. Getting through as well. If I Vine Grasp you and then... Titan's Gratitude, that does 138. So you'll just die before I... If I do 10 damage to you now, which I can do with... Again, if I play this at 2, that will be enough Frostbite. Or I just leave it. If I Flash Freeze you now, in fact, I don't know why I thought about... Yeah, the Vine Grasp... Then the Vine Grasp and the Titan's Gratitude gets you dead. So right, so now I can just play in counts up here for whatever their value is, whatever the most value is. Yeah, I, I mean I should have remembered that this wave exists. But the deck's very thin now, there's a good chance I just draw the Vine Grasp again. You do take 114. I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to just not worry so much about what's happening there. Uh, if I'd have played that on the Tethys, then maybe the that would have just killed you. Hey, there it is. I wasn't doing the numbers, I wasn't running the numbers there to make sure that that happened, but I kind of thought it would. Alright, cool. We, we did well. We did well. Uh, don't need to play this on Tethys now. There's an engraft here as well. Who'd have thought that would have come, out, come in as handy as it did? And I definitely should have played the Razor Sharp Edge. I don't know why I didn't. I should play this now, even though I could save an incant. I'm just worried that the Titan's Gratitude gets rid of it. Because I'm definitely going to play that. Because again, I don't really want to take the 4. Nice. Definitely could not have taken the uh, plus 8 on this. Like, no way in, in heck could we have done that. Alright, we got it. We got it. Easy. Easy game. Look at that. Three rounds. Ah, I couldn't get it down to two. I wanted to see if I could get it down to two. Close. <laughs> if a hundred damage is close. Um... 
I mean, Glacial Seal is funny now that I've got uh, the hammer. If the top floor is smaller, then I can't play it. It's still not even really that good. It's still not even really that good, is it? Let's be honest. Oh, Preserve Thorns is pretty spicy here. That's the uh, the new the new nerfed Preserve Thorns as well, and I still slam took slam took it. Um, what do we need? I might even just duplicate it, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm gonna just go this way. And 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 not duplicate it because I should go see what's in here first. Emblem of the Exiles is pretty dang great, as far as uh, as far as relics go. I could permafrost to the other Titan's gratitude that I gave. Plus, yeah, I mean that's quite good. I think I'm gonna do. Where'd it go? I think I'm gonna do this. I think I like these being 125. And consume, that's quite nice. Emblem of the Exiles only really makes it so that Guardian of the Unnamed gets another 5 every turn. What did our Siren get to last combat? Like 190 odds? Times 2? Was that right? If I reroll, I can't really do anything. And I don't think Permafrost or Minus One is particularly good on anything except maybe Crystallis, but I can still afford that afterwards. So I'm going to take this just because it's better than half of the stuff that I would see on a reroll. I mean, you could argue that I should reroll just because double in counts is so bonkers there. It's so bonkers good. And I'm going to duplicate this so that I've got lots and lots of uh, consume targets for Diligent. I can't really see this going wrong, to be honest with you. Famous last words, I know, but I can't really see this going wrong. I might play bottom, just for these purifiers. And I've drawn all three of my units, turn one, which is lovely stuff. Purifiers are the most annoying part about this combat. Do I get this purifier killed if I do this? To 125 plus. So she'll be on 5 times 2, and then Rage is 2 a stack, so she gets 4 every encounter. So she should be on 5 times 2, 9 times 2, 13 times 2. And then I'll just play this when my hand's empty. Uh, 17 times 2. Just 34, and then you'll be on 100. Uh, you'll be on, God, 65. So I still don't get this purifier dead. And Guardian takes a lot. Maybe I don't worry about it, and I just play Vine Grasps and Flash Freezes when I draw them. Play mid. Maybe I play mid. Just give myself an extra turn. I'm just worried about. I mean, you do gain 5 armor a turn, but then you do take 28 if I play down here. Because I can't get all of you dead. I think I'm going to just deal with the purifiers. They're not that bad. They're kind of bad. They're not that bad, though. I do have some answers for them. You do gain 15 armor and the 5 health from Emblem of the Exiles if I play on the bottom. Alright. I'll play on the bottom. Oh, I can't play this first because it discards a card that I need for incanting. Alright, I'll just consume a Frozen Lance then.
I still don't get you dead, which made this all a bit futile, but I get the next ones dead. I suppose with the hammer, and knowing that these light wings were going to come up, maybe this was all just horrendously wrong. Uh, huh. I don't really want to consume any of these, but I suppose if I have to... One of these steel enhancers, I suppose, can go. Really? I still didn't break through this? Oh my god! What is this hand? What the... What in God's name is going on? Please! Please! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Getting somewhere, slightly. Alright, I don't want to take the 5 damage from you. That at least gets you to live. These purifiers have to go. Because I just can't be dealing with this anymore. So unfo- That I'd consume on it anyway, yeah it's fine. Just panicked there for a moment. Um. Right, I've got four energy here. You need to go. I don't want to be dealing with this. I also don't want to be dealing with this. Get rid of you. Okay, that's fine. Alright. The hammer finally flipping did something of value. That's a lot in cans, and I'm still not getting these purifiers dead. I could have just played on the middle, the whole the top, the whole time. The hammer, finally. Um. Uh, this has got consume printed on it, but this does 125. It's kind of a bit of a waste. Let's get rid of a sting. First. Okay. That was bold. I should not have done that, really. Choices, choices. Just take the pyre damage to get more incants done. I think that's probably fine. And I'm going to play this at zero because I want the incants. And I will exchange pyre health for. Uh... Oh, I'm kind of worried about the shark's health total here. Wow, that's a lot of stings. Alright, that's fine. I mean, it's not fine. Oh my god, that's pathetic. What on earth happened? Okay. Each incant is actually worth quite a lot. No, that one's worth less. Oh dear. Okay, well we'll just have to see how much frostbite we put on and what else we can do about it. That's atrocious! Alright, let's 
kind of a lot of frostbite, I guess. <laughs> Imagine. These aren't the cards I wanted to see here. Uh, how many waves do we get out of the pyre? Two and a bit. I haven't got it, have I? That's really unfortunate. Oh no, hang on. Have I got it? I don't have it by five pyre health. That's really annoying. That's really quite annoying. Because I chose to play on the bottom. So I chose to so what happened is is I chose to play on the bottom because I thought I needed to deal with the purifiers. But my drawer was so bad, he says, as an excuse. Uh the drawer was so not very good that by playing on the bottom I still couldn't deal with the purifiers. I took all the curses anyway. But my shark took a lot of damage. Right? Because I didn't have enough backline. Also, I mean, it's possible that this doesn't work either. Because I do get a lot of damage out of uh, the frostbite that Tether supplies. Like this hand is is god awful. Like that's truly that's truly bad. But I do get that purifier dead. And the shark is on a lot more health than he would otherwise be. Because I'm getting all of my incants up here. Get rid of this one instead. Now the wilt wings and the light wings die to the rules of containment before they get to the top in this scenario as well. I just really thought that I would have had enough to kill the purifiers on the bottom before they clogged my deck up with these self mutilations, but. Apparently, that's not the case. I'm also on 113 pyre health as well, and not the 85 that I was on before. This is so much better. And I don't really understand how this has happened. Uh, don't discard anything good, please. I don't even know what that was. Fine grasp. Ah, that's, that's alright. My shark has got so much more health. You're getting up. Does this change anything? 148 times 2? It actually does. Oh no, no it doesn't. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> that was a lie. I suppose you also get through extra turns of incants because diligent, you don't have to win the fight on this floor. That's so weird to me that playing on the bottom there was wrong. And not even a little bit wrong, horrendously wrong. 
powerfully wrong. Wow. Powerfully, powerfully wrong. How strange. I guess... I guess... I guess I should have recognised that I wasn't getting through to the purifiers anyway. That's the mistake, and it's quite a... it's quite a... I'm not... I don't have a problem with trying that again on the top, because... It's quite a... high... in my opinion, a high level thing to realise that your deck doesn't kill the enemies that are spawning in front of the purifiers and you're not you haven't got that like if you had more flash freezes or vine grasps then maybe you can say well I'll play on the top because I'll just pick off the purifiers on their way up but when you've got three cards that deal 125 damage and say consume on them for diligent and you've got two lots of sting cards that say 30 damage on them it seems really weird to me that playing on the bottom there was wrong because you'd think that you would just do all your incounts on the bottom, clear the heavies out or clear the units out in front of the purifiers and the purifiers just die to your units. Um, but that didn't happen. And I really thought it would. I really thought just we had sheer numbers of, of incounts and powerful magic cards to just get that done. Uh, but we didn't. And it's so weird that it was sort of... By playing on the bottom, but not killing the purifiers, we made it worse for ourselves than if we'd have just played on the top and couldn't kill the purifiers. By playing on the top, knowing that you can't kill the purifiers, recognising that, and then playing on the top means that you get more turns of incants to just kill the other units anyway. If you think I can kill the purifiers if I play on the bottom, but then you can't, then the curses that the purifiers end up giving you are worse because you're on the bottom. So you have to recognise the purifier curses are bad, but they're worse for me on the bottom than they are for me on the top. On the top I've got two extra turns to incant and armor past them, past the downside of the curses, whereas if I'm on the bottom and I'm still having to clear curses or just ignore curses, my units aren't getting incanted. That's strange. That is strange. And maybe that's obvious to you, but it's it's not obvious to me. And I know that now, and I think maybe in future I will and that's why I don't have a problem with restarting that combat, because that's it, that to me seems counterintuitive that you win that combat by ignoring the purifiers, despite being in an incant deck and a frostbite deck and having rules of containment. Weird. Anyway, well, interesting at the very least. Can't say that it wasn't interesting. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to let me know by leaving a like or a comment. And if you want to see more Monster Train, then be sure to subscribe. Uh, other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.